it's still there. The old Chinese school on Yale Street, where my brother and I used to go. Despite the new coat of paint and the high wire fence, the school I used to know ten years ago remains remarkably the same. My only memory of him is that he swayed on his heels like a palm tree, and he kept his impatient hands clasped behind his back. Even though the emphasis at the school was mainly language, the lessons always began with an exercise in politeness. With the entrance of the teacher, the best student would tap a bell and everyone would get up, kowtow, and chant Sing San Ho, the phonetic for How Are You Teacher? <laughs> Being 10 years old, I had better things to do than learn ideographs copied painstakingly in lines. The language was a source of embarrassment. More times than not, I had tried to disassociate myself from the loud nagging voice that followed me wherever I went. Where are we going? Why, why are we going this way? The voice belonged to my grandmother, a fragile woman in her 70s who could outshot the best of the street vendors. Her humor was raunchy, her Chinese rhythmless, patternless. It was quick, loud, and it was unbeautiful. It was not like the quiet romance of French or the gentle refinement of the American South. Chinese sounded pedestrian, public. Hello there. How are you? Yeah, good job. Whenever I spoke English, people nodded at me, smiled politely, and they said, Encouraging words. My how our lips move fast. My brother was even more fanatical about speaking English than I was, often taking it out on mother and criticizing her, often in cruel ways. Ma, it's not what it is. It's what is it? What is it? What is it? Say it again, mom. It's not that hard. You're saying a bad example. That is not my son. L-L-Luth? It's Ruth! Say it again! L-L-Luth? Ah! After two years of writing with the mock button, reciting words with multiple meanings, I was finally granted a cultural divorce. I was permitted to stop Chinese school. I thought of myself as multicultural. I preferred tacos to egg rolls and I enjoyed Cinco de Mayo more than Chinese New Year. At last I was one of you, I was not one of them. Sadly, I am.